slipping away Living day to day It's been tough Hi guys, welcome to One Message in a Bottle Tarot. I'm your reader, One. Alright, it is Friday. Yes, thank motherfucking goodness. <laughs> okay, if you listen to me, you found this video. We made it, damn it. Right? Okay, and I am proud of you. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of we. I am proud of me. Alright? And uh, if you don't know, we are bopping to the Worldwide Phenomenon Club Quarantine. Okay, it's the global dance party. I personally have uh, Amy Winehouse playing in the background for vibes. We are doing the future tarot love spread. All right, because we want to know uh, what's going to be going on in our heart space when all this shit is over, right? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with answering the cards, asking the cards about that. Okay, so it is a six card spread. Okay. The first card is going to represent you. The second card is going to represent the energy of your future love or the person that you're currently entertaining. And the third card is going to represent how you will meet. The fourth card is going to be the connection between both of you. The fifth card is going to be what makes this connection juicy, what makes it good. And the sixth card is going to be the limitation you guys have to overcome together. Those roadblocks, those blockages. Blocks, blocks, I feel that energy today. Right? Got to get those out of the way up front. No residual icky energy. Yes. And speaking of energy, air. Let that shit breathe. Right? We are in the air signs. All right. And we're moving right along to Gemini, the twins. Whew. Twins always got something going on. You know why? Because they have different personalities, and each personality uh, always doing something and involved in somebody, or rather, their name is always in other people's mouths. A lot of times, the Gemini is minding their own business, and then, like, it's an issue. Weird stuff, right? Weird stuff. We're so lovable and fun and sexy and saucy and adventurous and childlike and um, yeah so we we never know what the problem is but we do know that when we're done entertaining it or having it in our space we get rid of it right we get rid of it so that being said we're doing the future love spread you want the first card representing you your air sign that will be, again, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. If you have air in your chart, we are doing Gemini. So we want the first card representing you guys. Okay, so you're feeling a, a little bit defensive. Oh, okay. Well, that just tells me, all this tells me is that you're standing up for yourself. That's it. An outside opinion. You see how they're outside away. It's like you don't matter. And that's what she's saying. You don't matter. All right. Gemini, you got some fire in your chart. All right. You let motherfuckers know. Okay. Let me know in the comments if you got some fire in your chart. But basically, you let motherfuckers have it. All right. But we said, we said we were not going to be arguing with nobody during a global pandemic or apocalypse. And maybe that's also the energy you're in. Like, get the fuck, you know, get back. Get back. You're not welcome here. You know, so it sounds like you're in the energy of just making some final, you know, decisions and standing on your word, standing on who you are. It's like standing in your power. You see how she's got her legs spread apart? What did they say like about that? Um, body language. Um, energy, it's, that's, it's like, it's, it's, it's a feminine form, but it's like big dick energy. <laughs> the feminine exercising big dick energy or vice versa. All right? It's like, I said what I said. Leave me the fuck alone. Okay? Okay, not welcome here. So you're not dealing, you know, you, you just had it. 
with everyone. <laughs> okay, you're exhausted. Your twin's exhausted. You know, everywhere you look on all fronts, she just, you know, she's like, you know, I've had it with you, motherfucker. Just leave me the fuck alone. Okay? Just leave me the fuck. That's what you're going to do. You're going to leave me the fuck alone. Okay? Makes sense to me. All right, so let's go into the energy of your partner. Uh, the person that you're either going to meet or the person that you're currently, um, the person that you are currently entertaining or having the notion of. All right, so this person got the Ten of Swords here. All right, so this person feels burdened themselves. All right. They feel over, um, overwhelmed. Got Swords energy, so maybe they have some air somewhere in their chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. I think uh, it, it's a mirror energy. Maybe you, maybe this is twin flame stuff, uh, Gemini. I don't know, but it's, it seems like definitely both of you have had it. There have been some disappointments, maybe some um, revelations over this period of self quarantine. People, places, and things, and you know it. You know, just, just. <sighs> Yeah, like she said, it hurts. You know what I mean? It's it's just been very underwhelming, I heard Stuart say. Underwhelming. Overwhelming and underwhelming. Like, damn. You know? So in that you're to agree. You you're you're both in a position like, you know what, I'm over entertaining this bullshit or whatever's gonna get me out of pocket, whatever's gonna you know what I mean, just mess up my mood or you know so number three the third card that popped out is how you will meet so we have the eight of pentacles all right this is earth energy so that's taurus virgo and capricorn all right so it looks like you guys are going to meet maybe in a workspace okay maybe you guys have some of the same passions all right are you both very hard workers you both like to focus on work so that's where you guys um, will end up meeting. You have some things in common, yes. All right, and you 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 are at a, a stable, um, uh, creating a stable energy, creating the mind the mind space of creating stability in your life on all fronts. Okay. So this is not the person you with. Again, this is supposed to be the future love spread. So you might meet this person at work. All right. So the fourth card we're asking for is the connection between both of you, Gemini. The connection between both of you two. This is the hangman, the hanged one, as I would say. You both decided after a period of reflection again to do what needs to be done. You've had revelation, okay? You've reflected and you see that light around her head. It's like it's revelation, okay? So you're able to make the proper decisions and move forward. You you took a period, you took a moment, you you, you well, we didn't have a fucking choice. We had to <laughs> take a step back. We had to isolate. Okay, so in this forced isolation, you've really both had an opportunity to do some self-reflecting, some self-assessment, assessing, assessment. And assessing yourself and others and where, you know, they hold space in your life. Whew, work spirit, okay? So it's a mirroring thing, right? All right, the fifth card is what makes this connection good? What makes it juicy? You know, maybe you are both contemplating a uh, workspace and, and energy within workspace within your own life. Maybe it has been a burden. 
burdensome you know and you want to you want to create something new you want to create new energy yeah and you want to create energy and love you want to move with love you want to be around love ace of cups here this is the connection between um now what makes this connection good is that you both want to move from a space of love from your heart space you want a new beginning with honest you know transparent connections no shady shit no shifty shit you know what I mean? You want to work. You want to get your money. You want, you know, just like no stress. Just good vibes here. Good vibes here. Right? We got some water energy in there. Okay. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing to, you know, meet somebody. Or again, if you're already having the notion of, you know, whoever you have in mind when you when as you're listening to this. All right, you're both in the space where you're ready to you're ready to love. You're ready for love like that. Oh, like that um India Ari song. I am ready for love. That song. Yeah. Wow, somebody post a link to that, right? That's the song for this reading. Oh, that's the name of the video. Yes. That's good, right? I am definitely, definitely happy. Okay, so the sixth card is the limitations that you have to overcome. And my card jumped out and then it went back in. Ready, go. The sixth card, the limitations that you have to overcome. All right, you both are fairy and passionate. Um, Great communicators, but again, I'd, I'd say like, I've been saying this for all for every season, Clint, kitten gloves in the way you communicate with your partner. All right, remember why you're there, remember, you know, how you love each other. One thing you don't have a problem with is, is passion. This is that young, fresh, hot, like, break some laws, getting it on kind of thing. The connection, all right, but also, you know, just be careful in the way you guys can communicate because you both are, are are passionate here. Again, there's some fire energy in there. Maybe both of you, this person that you're entertaining or that you'll be in the future, maybe you both have some fire, you know, um, in your chart. All right, so you both come in, you know, hot and fast, and maybe you both, you know, can get hot-headed pretty quick, but you got to remember the reason why you're brought together, the reason you're here in the first place, and use that energy, use this Knight of Wands energy to fuel this, right? That's the way to go. That's what you want to do. And if you can do that, man, can't nobody fuck with y'all. I'm telling you. They can't do nothing about it. Yeah. Bottom of the deck. Happiness. All right. That is a uh, Leo energy. All right. Again, that's fire. So you and or this person or whatever, you got some fire in the tr in the chart. You got Earth energy in the chart. You both want happiness. Sun card is also my baby making card. So maybe you know either one of you wants to start a family or build a family. But again, it's like you both want happiness. You know what you want after that time of reflection. All right. This is the whole fucking enchilada, Gemini. This is marriage and the same ideals. This is being on the same page. This is one focus, one union, one body. Okay. Happily fucking ever after. <laughs> I am not... I don't know why Spirit just showed me a Gemini somewhere that just fell the fuck out of their chair or they spit their drink out or they dropped the blunt or something because I know Geminis ain't used to having no reading like this. All the other Gemini readings I've had is always some fucking drama. So I, I just see Geminis everywhere like spitting out their drink like, girl, what the fuck? Is this a real reading? Am I actually going to be happy? Am I going to have somebody for me? Yes. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Spirit says, let's move it. You're about to get it all, hope. In a good way. In a good way. In a good way. <laughs> You're about to get it all. The whole world. Oh, my gosh. 
Ooh, Lord. Oh my God, this is like really sexy and mature and grown, Gemini. I'm like really happy. You got all the cups. You got all the things. You got everything. You're about to get it all. All right. Some young, hot, like y'all got, y'all got every, oof. I can't even handle it. Y'all gonna melt the windows down. They are, they are not prepared. They are just not ready. The world ain't ready, fam. I'm excited. I'm excited. I can't wait to watch. <laughs> Both of y'all got devil energy. Again, y'all need to, y'all need to, don't get locked up. Don't get locked up doing some crazy shit. But I, from what I'm reading, <laughs> you guys like to have some fun. So do that. Have fun, you know what I mean? But do your best to rein it in and keep the focus. You know what I mean? Again, I've said that fire energy, you know, but it's good. It's all happiness. It's all love. It's all happy endings. And yeah. All right, that's the word, Bert, as I would say. All right, so if you like this reading, I mean, what's there not to like? That's everything. Hell, head right to the bio right now and drop a love donation, okay? Because that was everything about everything. But yeah, like this video and make sure you go to the Instagram page and subscribe there. Also, head over to the YouTube channel, One Message in a Bottle Tarot, and subscribe there. And that is where you will find your extended readings if I went over the allotted time. Reiterating, if you love me, your reader, one, you love this message. It re resonated. You ready? Finally, some positive fucking news. And you want to show me some love? Of course you do. Head over to my bio. There's information there. I love of any either cash out and also this love donation information is in every in the description box of every video okay all right Gemini well honey if you ain't ready get ready get down and lay down as they say okay because you you about to get um swept off your feet <laughs> okay you about to get some earth wind and fire up in that bitch <laughs> All right, so I hope you ready. You folks, y'all, y'all be safe now. Okay, now, woo, Lord, Jesus, hot.